guys, welcome back. Let's play Final Fantasy VII Remake. Last time, the most important thing of all happened. Cloud got a very pretty flower. This time, I'm walking very, very slowly, apparently. Um, is that going back? Yeah, I need to go this way. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> I know which way I'm going. I'm a badass, so the door opens automatically for me, apparently. Some people say Wu Tai's involved. I heard they were going to start to incorporate that into uh, into this at some point. It's an interesting idea. Keep moving, Cloud. Just let me get home. Of course, there's a treasure chest. Shitting on the slums. Okay. The politics in this city is very interesting. The highway collapsed right in front of us. Wow, who would have thought there'd be people riding in the freight car? I guess they don't have much choice, but rather them than me. I wonder if you're supposed to be there either. Sector 8 will be back to normal in no time. It has to be. What if other reactors were hit as well? No so cramped. Yep, there. it is. All I want to do is pass out. Oh, never mind. What the hell is there? That's weird. Interesting. It like everyone's reaction. Got a sec. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. If you have a plot okay. thing for me, I'm gonna talk to Wes. Sorry, I I didn't mean to bump. Wow. There's so much there. interaction here. This is nuts. Man, everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Should've Cloud. Gone to Sector three instead. Well, um, me cleaning up the if you're about to unburden yourself, like don't. Yeesh. <laughs> you don't make it easy. They even have <laughs> hotels down there. No, you're not making it easy. But that's Cloud for you. Hey, you got see, a sec? my daughter now lives in Sector Eight, so you're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector Eight, I'm a soldier. Perpetrators yet? Wow, my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to, or maybe not. You see, I my wouldn't. My daughter now lives in Sector Eight, so do you think Wu Tai's to blame? Cloud, quit bumping into everybody. Have you heard the rumors? Someone's trying to take down Shinra. Good thing there'll be electricity where we're going. I'm sure Sector 7's affected too. Nah, Shinra wouldn't let that happen. Apparently some people are drinking the Kool-Aid still. Little help, Cloud? Please? I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You, you think. mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I can't. Now, no one ever called Squall a good listener, and all he would do is stand there and say nothing. In fact, he told Quist to talk to the wall. <laughs> but still, <laughs> at least Cloud gets a little respect. Well, there's Barrett. Now... What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <laughs> out your ass. <laughs> yeah, that would scare the crap out of me, too. Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. <laughs> Seriously, that guy walks up to so anyone and you're scared shitless. Just who you shitless. think you are? A law-abiding <laughs> concerned citizen. <laughs> yeah. Really? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm in my humble opinion, 
That explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. He doesn't they try to hide, does he? Heard it loud and clear, <laughs> y'all's masters. <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. <laughs> that is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Them's fighting words. I love this rendition of. We all have to Barrett's follow our theme. conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> One of these cars during the escape sequence in the original. Someone tried to pickpocket Cloud in the original. I'm waiting for to see if that happens They'd again. They'd probably kill us if they knew we were the ones responsible. Barrett's not hiding the fact that he's in on it. He well, really isn't. I get it if you can't relate. Oh, Jesse already moved forward. Calm down. It's hey, just a this train is slower than molasses, am I right? You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. Alright. Somebody's passed out. Nap time. Hey. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got <laughs> a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID oh. checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar, Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. All that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Damn Heads big up. brother. <sighs> Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> That's what's always worked for me. Well, that's all well and good, if you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. There ain't no getting off this train we on. I believe that was the line. Okay, so there's odd jobs, apparently. We really get to live up to being a mercenary. Interesting. Chapter 3. Hey! Over here! Oh, you're right! Yes, Drake! Daddy! Oh, sweetheart! I'm glad you're home! Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, you're Thank goodness. That was one hell of an outfit that, that one girl had. It's really bad. Hot damn, 
we are good. <laughs> yes. Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah. Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, <laughs> right. Thor. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh. At Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Interesting. So, what do we and... Not long and, now, honey. And, and, and the actor <laughs> have in common. Uh... Everyone gets pissed off when we stop working. You don't know Barrett's backstory from the previous game? That just would seem really off-putting. <laughs> cool. How about what? So, let's go someplace a little less crowded, huh? Okay. Oh, Except pick up. The only place around here is the train graveyard, which everyone says is haunted. But that's cool, right? Uh, have a rain check? Dumbass. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Bump. Huh? Bump into all the people. <laughs> I just mm. love that interaction. That's so oh. cool. Office still there? Somehow. As long as the trains are running, it'll be work as usual tomorrow. Yeah. Are you crying? Never been so happy to be home. Well, I'll have you know, I was worried sick. Is that Wendy Lee? Uh, of um, sounded like Wendy Lee. Up. I could be wrong. Are you sure you haven't seen my husband? Office still there? Somehow. As long as the trains are running. Nope. Can't go back yet. He's really tall. You'd have no trouble spotting him, even if he was in a... You see the huge uh, explosion on his Yeah, yeah, I saw it. <sighs> wow, am I hungry. Guess I'll stop by one of the food stalls. So, you hear that burger joint staying open tonight? No way! I'd kill for one right now. Interesting. I'm going on a ghost hunt. Come on out, ghosts! Sounds like fun. Can I head over there right now? Down. A reactor bombing, train graveyard getting closed off. What are we Guess even not. doing here? No one in their right mind would go into a train graveyard at night. People talk, rumors spread, and kids get curious. You know how it is. I'd go in. Of which, you hear it was supposedly a ghost, not a monster, that attacked that guy this afternoon? They must have been seeing things. All right. Talk about weird stuff going down. Of course. Never been so happy. Office still mm -hmm. there? Somehow. Very interested in seeing this world fleshed out. So, I apologize if I drag my feet everywhere, but I'm going to. Food cart. I wanted to bump in line. Can I? Can I bump in line? No. Sounds great. I think he's over by the TVs. He's been watching the news this whole time. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. I want to know if they've caught anyone. Not yet. Uh, map. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, so that's... Sector 7 is small. Um... So from here, I press that to open up. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's nice. Be a full 3D layout of the, the city. Cool. I like that. The bartender here can take one look at you. I have three sheets to the wind. Three sheets to the wind. I hear other people refer to someone as that drunk. But I don't usually hear people refer to themselves as that drunk. So the Mako reactor's broken? For now. But don't you worry. We're gonna fix it. It'll be up and running in no time. Really? That's great! Sure is, sweetie. Alright, sounds like a plan. I'm free tomorrow, so let's do it. Interesting. I've never felt the ground shake like that. What kind of person bombs Loveless. a reactor? The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers all over the slums, I expect. Mm -mm. Apparently Shinra thinks it's a group called Avalanche. 
That's what I heard on the train, anyway. Avalanche. That sounds familiar. You can see how what information kind of disseminates from all to? different angles. The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers all over the slums, I expect. Mm. Yeah, you already said that. Some Pleiades only had it so good because of the reactors. And those bombings changed all that. Yeah, well, shoes on the other foot now. Let's see how they like fighting to survive. They're people too, you know. <sighs> That's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. I'd never seen anything like it before. It was completely insane. Security was out in full force looking for the bombers. I even saw a few helicopters. Wow, that sounds intense. That whole situation last time was insanely intense. It was like a giant candle lighting up the whole sky. Yep. All that debris piled up like mountains. You couldn't uh, go nowhere. Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Now the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> His hallucinations are getting okay, buddy? bad. <laughs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. That's interesting. You again. Okay. So Cloud doesn't just gain it when he's in contact with Aerith. He now has it full time. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. Uh, we are... Oh, wow. Whoa! I thought this area was going to be freaking tiny, just like Sector 7 actually was. But this place is massive! Holy crap! this warning gate broken fiends in area exercise caution no reason to check it out not my problem but but i want to you don't to. want to mess with the monsters in here move along now and just where do you think you're going is that joe swanson's voice actor from family guy or yeah from family guy i swear that sounds like joe swanson public security should know who did it so so you'll interrupt them while they're working? Come on, it's one little question. What's up, guys? Uh, hey, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. This you call is... that a warning? <clears throat> no, sir! So yeah, this is that area. So up to... That's the wrong button. So yeah, up here should lead to the plate where we fight Reno. And down there is an area we... I don't think we ever get to go into. I think that one leads to Wall Market and Sector 6, if I remember correctly. But we almost never, if ever, get to use it. More avalanche signage. Wow. Wow. It's completely realized, too. Holy shit. I don't know. It sounds like an accident to me. But then what about the children? We can't have These them These assholes need to shut the, the hell up. Damn, I need a drink. I'm bored out of my goddamn mind. Oh, warning. Can't go that way. Know any good part-time gigs? Like, at all? I could really use the money, man. If I did, I wouldn't be here with you. Yeah. Midgar's in trouble, that's for sure. 
Is there anything we can do to fix this? Police supplies are currently being distributed in the lobby of the Sinra building. Doctors are also stationed at the building. Glad I got today off. If you are unable to reach the building on your own, am I still going to have a job? Guess I'll find out. Did everyone get out in time? In conjunction with President Shinra, has declared a state of emergency in Midgar. The administration has issued assurances that they are doing everything in their power to provide aid to those most in need. Are they going to turn the reactor off? Why did people attack, blow it up? Security services are working tirelessly to identify those involved. I am so glad. Well, you know, that ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? But it looks like Sector 7. What do you know? That ain't half bad. I want a drink with tea for so bad. Who would it? She's a looker. A bombshell even. Well, I'm assuming I'm being forced to go say hi to Tifa. Yeah, the game's not basically not letting me do anything. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll go talk to Tifa. Marlene. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Okay, that makes That's sense. right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Do I still get the option? Huh? <laughs> I don't get the option anymore? <laughs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Okay, so you want to talk to Barrett, so I'm going to talk to everybody except Barrett. Uh. Hey! Uh, the hell Barrett. you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> Flashback time? Um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. Okay, then. Apparently, I was taught a lesson. Can I go down here yet? No, guess not. Oh, this one. Oh, a jukebox. Add more songs by collecting music that's found in the field. Okay. Obtain Tifa's theme. I'm assuming it's going to play that anyway. Before we get on to money... There's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? That sounds sure great. Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the in plate? Words, 
that was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Not good at all. I don't know what it is. So, you make nice so with everyone? Empty. Much as I so could, all things considered. Void, Maybe not enough the for place. them. Good. No, probably not. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. He is not I'll a people person. That. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. Yeah. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra One tells them to. They saw so, it, burning. it wasn't that bad? Were safe. It, was. it was worse. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. I guess this is, uh... The hotel from the, uh... Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't Yet have again. time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Okay. And this is me. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Johnny? What are you doing? You've never even met this person. <laughs> Stop talking to me. I'm trying to do things. Oh. Go upstairs. I have a feeling I'm probably not supposed to go up here and do stuff yet. What's this? Oh, some kind of a treasure chest. Curious. I'll take it. I definitely like the uh, the fast movement down the stairs. That's cool. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There's one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. 500? We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With Fair. what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Interesting. <sighs> yeah, the uh, the level of realism is kind of crazy. <clears throat> Guess it's time for introductions. What the fuck? That's off-putting. I have no idea how long this episode is because I didn't start my timer until partway through. So I'm going to call it right here. And next time we're going to go figure out what the hell that sound is. What the hell? Anyway, that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.